this is the odd thing. Now, if we take another example, if we take alcohol as an example, yeah, okay? Certainly. Many, many years ago, it was made very clear that alcohol was good for you. Yeah? Yeah. Then when further research took place, they found, well, it does have damaging effects. They did further research and they came down with units. Yeah, recommended weekly units. Yeah. After a few years, they reduced the units. Yeah. For pregnant women, even more even reduced. More. Not last year, the year before, it was now recommended that they must not drink at all. all. Why? Damage to the unborn child. But 50, 70 years ago, we were not aware of it, were we? But we weren't furnished with the information that we are aware of now. Okay, excellent. Medical yeah. research. Yeah. We, we simply did not know then what we do know now, now. Excellent. Now look at the parallel here, James. Yeah? When they did the research, if they did any, we took it for granted that what they had said was entirely correct. Generally speaking, most people accept. So why do we have difficulty? Absolutely. Okay. So why would we have difficulty if information, I'm not going to call it a book, if information over a thousand years ago relayed to humanity that alcohol is not good for you? That may not be based on science, medical data. It could be. James, sorry could to interject. Be based on observation of alcohol in effect. Excellent. We Whatever. Know what drinking well, wait a minute. So how then? How does it come down to specifics? So, for example, when it says they ask you concerning intoxicants, in it there is goodness and there is bad. bad. The bad outweighs the good. How did it know that? What do you think? What I I'll tell you what, the parallel I, I drew, James. I, I drew this, apologies. Sorry. I drew a parallel. I said, all those years ago, when they told us something, we just agreed. We never went and did the research, did we? We just accepted what they said about alcohol. And then further research has shown it was good, it is bad, and the bad actually does outweigh the good to the extent that a year and a half ago for pregnant women it's a total no-no now here is a question is it only for the pregnant women or should it be for the general public if the research is showing that it might it may harm the unborn baby the reaction is actually taking place in the human body of the mother and then it goes through, yeah, it goes through to the through baby. The to so the baby. if the human being is being affected, won't the male be affected like the female? Yes. So the question is this, if I can just finish. Yeah, Jeff. Objectively speaking, a rule that tells you the goodness and the bad of a particular thing, to the extent that in detail it tells you what, has to be objective. For it to benefit humanity for all times, it would have to be a rule that does not emanate from a human being. Do you logically no, why, agree? Why would, why would that rule have to not have human origin? I'll tell you why. I, I'll tell you why, James. Because we just agreed that 50, 60 years ago, when they thought alcohol was very good, it came from I, a human being. I, I, <laughs> I am in ignorance about okay, understood. Islam generally. Okay. But specifically, at the time of the the Prophet Muhammad, peace yeah. be upon him, uh -huh. when he he arrived at the the precept that alcohol should be haram under Islam, where did that stricture come from? The idea that alcohol is haram substance under Islam. Did the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, arrive at that stricture. The, the, the things are haram. Alcohol is not the only one, is it? There no. are other, so Intoxicants in general. In, in, yeah. Previously, alcohol 
would, was its use widespread during the yes. Middle East? Fr throughout the Middle yes. East? Al it the, was. The brewing of alcoholic beverages, I believe, it was. originated Thousands of years. in the Middle, the Near East. <laughs> Thousands of years ago. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, the use of alcohol was widespread and commonplace yes. throughout yes. the Near East before the emergence of Islam. Yeah, absolutely, but so, then... There's no objective ruling in place. Wait a minute. There. Here, I, I agree with you. But here is an issue that I had raised. Because logically, it always comes to the question you asked. You see, if I needed to know a substance having benefit and also harm, mm. would I need to do chemical tests? To reveal harm at a chemical level? We, can, we don't need that to see <laughs> How? the damage. No, 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 no. Listen very carefully. In it, they ask you concerning into intoxicant, alcohol. Mm. Yeah. Tell them there is in it good and there is in it bad. The bad outweighs the good. For us to arrive at that conclusion, we would have to necessarily research, test and establish against individuals to decide but that's about the drinking i'm talking about the alcohol itself how can we arrive at the conclusion that there is good and there is bad in it without doing the necessary chemical tests that i must admit i do not know excellent how? let's let's take it one step further okay. though james right. you see if we have information like that we are then told look this particular aspect of human, I'm not going to call it ingenuity, human invention, yeah. for want of a better word, yeah, that's perfect. is not good, full stop. Now, what I want you to consider is this, James, yeah? When we are told something is illegal in the United Kingdom, yeah. is it made illegal because it is for the benefit of humanity or the people in the country. That's very arguable because we see how s smoking laws, yeah. as in, we can see on balance, I'm opposed to smoking. I'm not opposed to drinking alcohol. <laughs> so, you have a contradiction in your mind. <laughs> It's subjective because... Whoa, 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 whoa. Laws are made objectively, not subjectively. How they emanate is an issue. But look, there's a problem with what you just said because now you have totally contradicted your position. I see. I do that often. <laughs> not to worry, James. But look, you see, when you talk about smoking, has research shown that it is bad for the human being? I would say that research has shown that the smoking has a damaging effect on humans. Right, but not only to humans, but also to third parties who are innocent of the smokers. Certainly, yes. So, if it becomes a health hazard, shouldn't the country or the law step in? I would say so. Okay. Yes. Can you see how you're contradicting your I position? Am okay. Myself. But now you see, we take it a step but further. Sure, sorry, Shabir. Can yeah, sure. We yeah. see, surely we realize that the damage done by something, it's not simply a question of whether it does damage or it does not do damage. It's an extent based on usage. It's, I understand, I acknowledge the Islamic um, precepts against alcohol as a haram substance, it does a huge amount of damage but it extends at a social it. level. No, but it extends it. Level. But James, it extends it to drugs also. Again, my now are you telling me? I'm not sure not, of not the worry. haram status yeah, well, there is. of drug items. There is, but Islam. now the, the issue that we need to ask ourselves is this. Surely, if an objective rule came down, okay, 
And I'm, I use the example of alcohol because it is right all around us. Yeah? It's the most common one. Yeah. And drugs. Now, Certainly. are you familiar with the damage caused by people who are alcoholics? All too well. Okay. Do you see the damage that drunk people do to their family members when they go into the houses? Undoubtedly, yes. Okay. If you look at the problem, every time I... And I want you to try this, yeah? You read any court issue, uh, you know, people in the magistrate's court. They were arrested for damaging, beating, this, that and the other. 99% of them... the determining factor in that. Now, you tell me, where is the logic here? Okay, if me and you came across a situation and we had the power to change the law, we came across a, a situation where constantly innocent people are being assaulted as a result of an individual ingesting something. What would we do? What would we do about it? Outlaw that substance. There you are. You answered the question yourself. Thank you. The question is this, James. Though, you see. When we logically sit down and think, we will, come, we will arrive at different conclusions to what we think we actually arrive at. Now, to me, it is simple. If, if I know that there are certain precepts which seem to adhere to my definition or essence as a human being, there must be a reason for that, surely. A reason or a number of reasons of whichever the idea I the idea that there must be a super a day a, a deity <laughs> a creator to a cre call him, a I know, creator I have to be careful because no with calling, me you can be free calling your creator as a creator can our set, creator again I I deny I deny and disbelieve no, you don't. in the existence of what you your are saying, creator, yeah, What you are saying to me, creator. what you are I, saying to me, James, currently, you don't have the necessary information to make an informed decision about a creator. I'm afraid you've lost me at some point, <laughs> easily done, over how, no, no, no. how I, the, the, the fact of alcohol being a haram substance. Yeah necessarily indicates the existence of a your creator. creator to to then objectively I'll, mandate <laughs> alcohol as a well. excellent um, I'll, I'll put in i'll put in the I missing dot confused and I, <laughs> I, I, well, I, mean, you, I go away even more confused no not at all we shall we shall clarify look i asked for a totally objective rule now for it to be totally objective, it has to, by definition, be beyond the realm of human interference. Do you, do you understand? Do you agree? I think so, yes. Excellent. Something that is objectively that is, true yeah. is true regardless of my or your... Yeah, or exactly. Or and regardless of which society or country or whatever. Now, I am saying to you that everything that the Quran talks about in relation to the benefit that human beings accrue from the Quran are rules that are totally objective. When I say that, what I mean is that they transcend the ability of the human being to the extent that when a rule has come down, we may not primarily or at the outset fully understand the import of why this has come down, but research will show us. And look at this, yes? And I use the example of alcohol, James, yeah? And its association with why I said there is a creator, yeah? Alcohol, if it was made illegal for the human beings, in particular the Muslims, yeah? 1,500 odd years ago, we have already established that the kind of necessary testing that we would have to undertake to find its goodness and its badness yeah 
up to the late 60s, in fact, up to the late 2000, 2010, 2015, research finally showed why it is very damaging to human beings. Now, the question is this, and the, the parallel I drew. If we, even today, if I went into a doctor's and I told him, you know what, I've got a backache, he will ask me various questions. It's like it is scripted, yeah? But because experience has shown them that if X says Y, then it should be Z. Yeah? So I go in and I say, I've got lower back pain. Uh, okay, did you lift anything heavy? No. Did somebody kick you? No. Do you play a lot of sports? Yes. Ah, okay. Lie down. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> he'll do that. And he'll arrive at a conclusion. And he will tell me, oh, Shabir, don't worry about it. It's just a bit of a slight muscle pull. Just apply this cream and hair press to everything is good. As a human being, James, what will I do? Number one, I went to him because I consider him to be an authority in medicine. Correct? Agreed, yeah. I now take what he has given without wanting to go and research and see whether he has got it right or not. 99% of human beings, we do that. Yeah? yeah I will go and I will say yes. I tell you what happened a few, two weeks ago. I suffered from a kidney stone. The pain was excruciating, okay? I, <laughs> the ambulance came and took me. I went into the hospital from 8 o'clock at night until 2 in the morning. No one had attended to me, yeah? Right. And I am writhing in pain. But the whole place was full of people, so I understood. They do the test at 3 in the morning. 15 minutes later, he comes in and he says, uh, 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 Shabir, we are going to have to keep you in because we have found a renal problem. I said, yeah, okay. Sure. First thing we are going to have to do is scan you. Now, I'm, they, they'd given me painkillers by then, so I'm chilling and thinking, right, okay, renal problem they've talked about, let's see what it is. In the morning, they wheel me into the scanning. Scan me, come back, the doctor comes, he says, I've got good news for you. Because he had told me the procedures they were thinking of doing, either putting a stent to have the kidney drain. Yeah. Not a problem. He says, you know what? The kidney has moved. Ah, so not the kidney, the stone has, <laughs> the stone has moved. Not the, the kidney. Stone moved. Yeah, the okay. stone had moved into the bladder area. So he said, there isn't anything to do. Let it's it just pass. It. Let it just pass. Now, did I go home saying, yeah, he's got it wrong? No, you trusted what he had told you. Okay. Him. But now here is the issue. Unless and until we ourselves as individuals test the veracity of this message that claims to be from a creator, can we really make a conclusion? Not fairly based on what you said, no. So now you have to accept a present from me, a Quran, and then we'll meet again in two years. By then you will have studied. <laughs> How about that, Shabir? James? <laughs> I always 